Hello and welcome. Today is the first day of our live painting class called Don't Worry, Just Paint. And this is Hill. Hi. Hi, everyone. So, Hi. yeah, no, 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 please go ahead. I'm Hill, just, uh, who are you? Uh, well, I'm just kind of a regular guy who started with the uh, modelism, and of course, I love uh, role, role playing games. I've been to this. Uh, I went into this science. I don't know, 15 years ago, 15, 20, more or less. And well, here in Mexico, I'm I'm part of a team of uh, of the crew of a store of War Gamings. We do a lot of uh, War Machine and Hordes and uh, Games Workshop, Warhammer and Warhammer Fantasy. Now Age of Sigmar, and also the D and D franchise which uh, we're having uh, a lot of fun painting right now. And also we, we, work, we work with some of the uh, Fantasy Flight games, which have a lot of miniatures. And yeah, that's pretty much what we do. Also, I, promote, uh, I make some promotion on the running label. Uh, here in Mexico, this is an important label of painting. Uh, accessories, also brushes, washes, uh, and of course painting pots, acrylics and oil paints. Yeah, if you want to find them online, you can find them at Ronin Acrylics, not Ronin Paints. I found that out the hard way. Yeah, Ronin yeah. Acrylics. Yeah, indeed. Well, all right. So, are there any new paints you want to uh, feature today? Well, in this case, uh, we're gonna start with this running label. Uh, we were tr uh, we were trying to do some muscles, uh, which you can see out here on the cameras. So uh, you were starting with a miniature, you want to shim with a shim miniature. So we're going to start uh, featuring some of the um, running labels. Um, we're also getting some of the Vallejo. We're going to work with acrylic paintings uh, mainly. Uh, which acrylic paints are uh, also translucent, are kind of translucent. So we're starting with the layering. Uh, this technique allows you uh, to, so you can see also a little bit of the layer before the one that you're applying. In this case, we're start, uh, yeah, we want to start with some muscles in this Shibinator that Josh already has in his hand. He already started. Oh yeah, there it is. That is the camera. And with a black one, we're gonna continue this with a black one. That's right. So okay. what we're gonna be doing is I'm working on a female miniature, yeah, uh, minotaur, from Z Lot Miniatures, uh, the Minotaur Horde. It was a Kickstarter that just recently uh, finished, and they've already sent all the miniature minotaurs. And I went pretty much all in to make sure I got a nice horde of minotaurs. A lot. Of so I'll be doing the female minotaur, and. Hill here will be working on one of the big barbarians uh, minotaurs and so you're going to be able to watch him as he begins with the basic beginning he's going to show us first how exactly he applies the first layer of paints the first layer of muscles I've already done a few layers of muscles as you can see here um, some of the layers of muscles are already quite done we've done a wash using Ronin, uh, Ronin easy shades yeah, indeed. And so what we're going to be doing now is he's going to show how you start with a darker color and then go lighter and lighter and lighter with each different layer. Indeed. Uh, which color is it going to be? Just to know. Is it going to be a brown one? Do you want to I keep it as I think we're doing with kind of a darker, not this kind of brown. This is the lighter shade because it's a female. Okay. And I feel that's the best way to represent the females and tell them apart. And I'm, we're thinking it could be either an ashy dark brown or okay. a dark brown. I'll let you choose for this one because okay. not all minotaurs are created equal. Indeed. Yeah, just to know, and so we can show on the camera. So it's going to be even more notorious if I do it as a brown one. Yeah, that's right. Oh, okay. That's okay. I'm going to get up and readjust <laughs> your camera for you yeah, so don't it's worry. more yeah, comfortable. It's okay. No, that is fine. How would you like to hold your minotaur? I just, no, that is nice. I'm going to work just like here. And yeah, just so, so I have my mark and I know where do I have to go so everyone can see. Yeah, that is right, that is perfect. All and right. I can show you the work here and also you can see me working there, okay? Okay, I'm gonna just adjust this camera real quick for the focus for you guys so you can all see. Mm -hmm. 
and you can go ahead and begin if you'd like to. Okay, we're we'll gonna start with this. Uh, we're gonna we're we're not gonna improve on some and to mixing uh, paintings. We're not gonna do that really. We're gonna, we're gonna use the uh, layering technique mixed with the wash technique. Uh, normally, you can see this as a part of uh, lessons in the for Warhammer beginners. They give you some uh, quick tips. What's and the difference between improve. Warhammer and uh, regular D and D miniatures or resin miniatures? Are they the same, or are they supposed to be painted differently? Indeed, everything can be painted the same way. Uh, as I said, this is only the techniques uh, that you can apply to any miniature. There's not really difference. I have this here that I re I just started just for making some examples. I have this elf from WizKids. You can see they're pretty, pretty good miniatures. They're not as detailed as some of the miniatures for Warhammer, for example. Or Zilla miniatures. Or Zilla miniatures, yeah, indeed. Or Atlantis miniatures, uh, uh, a new which, sponsor. Uh, yeah, our new sponsor, which are great. They have great miniatures. You're gonna, you're gonna watch them, man. As I do, you're gonna love it, believe me. Well, but well, this has a pretty good detail. We're gonna work on this uh, later on. But you can see, uh, you can appreciate, it. Um, even that it's, it has some details, it doesn't have that good details as some of the Racine or Warhammer miniatures. This is for uh, Massive Darkness. And you can check on the detail. This is softer, but you cannot see really the eyes in this miniature. Uh, you can draw the, the, the eyes on this miniature. It's also softy, this is so flexible. In this case, the resin is not. Please don't, I, I'm not gonna move it too much because this is fragile. This is so thin that this is so fragile. So some of the more expensive miniatures tend to have a, you don't wanna drop them, for example, or try to bend them too much, whereas Reaper miniatures or Nolzer's uh, WizKids miniatures. Indeed. You can, sometimes they come with bent swords and you can just put them in hot water, like yeah. really hot water, put them in, take them out, bend them, and then dip them in the freezing cold water. That's and right. that should solve the bent swords or bent weapons trick. Yeah, indeed. That works a lot. But uh, for these guys, you can't do that, huh? Yes, for this one, I can do, because this is resin. We don't have the problem, but with the WizKids, it doesn't solve the problem too much because they're still so soft that you can bend them anytime. Also, when the about the storage, uh, you can get uh, messed up the with the miniatures because of the storage. If you just throw them away and just put some miniatures uh, above each one, you're gonna just mess the details. You're gonna my mend poor them. miniatures. Yeah, indeed. I need a better yeah. way to yeah. stack my miniatures, guys. And yeah, as they say, miniatures. Unpainted miniatures everywhere. Uh, this is also for WizKids. We were starting with this one for the muscles. You can see a little bit here. This is what we're going to achieve here today uh, about this uh, muscular. Uh, yeah, that it is. This muscular shapes. That is about the layering we're going to improve today. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, and this camera, yeah, it really, it, it looks really good. And because of the light. Yes, so yeah, if you'd like to know what cameras we're using, we're using the C920s by Logitech. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't recommend them completely. I think there's a better one you can get because the screws like to come out the bottom. But oh, if you'd yeah. like to get them, go <laughs> yeah, ahead and get them. I have. Problem. We're using all C920s today uh, to record all the streams. Indeed. So well, we're gonna work like this into this new figure. Well, and yeah, we're gonna start. Okay, I'm just going to share this really quick on Twitter so everybody knows we're here. What? Doesn't anyone know we're here? Well, Already? Right now, I don't think we have any viewers quite yet, but uh, we will soon. <laughs> okay. Once I start sharing this in a few different places. Very nice. Okay, because we started a little bit late today, so some people might not know we're live right now, and it's the first show. Yeah, so. uh, this is a pilot. As we said. Let's do this. TV. Okay. Okay, perfect. All right, we have that. 
And I also I'm gonna use it. some of the Crystal Brown from Running. And I'm gonna use a couple of your paintings, okay? Also, we're gonna prepare these brushes. And yep, that's it. Okay, there we go. I'm going to go ahead and tweak this. Okay, I don't have the picture of us, unfortunately, but it'll be do it'll work. There we go. And what else do we have? Okay, I'm gonna have let you go ahead and start painting for them, and I'm gonna just go ahead and do some of the social media stuff that we have to do before okay, as yeah. it starts. So go ahead and do yeah, that. Yeah, I'm gonna start with this. We're just gonna go on from here. So what else, what can we say to them right now about D&D Adventures, uh, any dynamic? Well, um, for the Dungeons and Dragons, I'm planning on running, um, I have a storyline, I'm working on the, uh, a module that I'm going to be creating using yeah. the miniatures, minotaurs from this line. Um, but along with that, I'm, I'm coming up with some ideas for perhaps more story arcs for not another TPK or other D&D &D games I might run. Oh, because I like to use the miniatures that I buy. One thing that my girlfriend said, you know, you have all these miniatures, make sure you're actually making stories that let you use the miniatures instead of just having them sit up on a shelf. And so that's what I try to do now, is I try to make stories related to some of the miniatures that I already have or that I can attain. Yeah, indeed. And there is a pretty good start. Uh, some people doesn't understand uh, about when you tell them about role-playing games, especially here in Mexico City. Well, uh, we don't have yet the culture about it. Indeed, this is a little bit sad because some people consider or they think that role-playing games are are doomed. Or just I don't for think kids. So. Yeah, yeah, just yeah. for kids. I get that a lot. Yeah, and, and even more here. Uh, because we don't have the knowledge about it. Uh, the, um, I don't know, the only... We don't have this on television or in the news. I think for, uh, for so many people where like uh, this series or these movies like, of course, E.T. Mm -hmm. was a long time ago, but uh, the tribute for it and the and the Stranger Things series, it was kind of weird and it uh, it was kind of sad. Actually, people I really see liked it, but people no, 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 I loved it. I, I think it was really it. good, a re great representation. I mean, not the perfect one because they were they were just kids. I mean, that might have yeah, been how indeed. we played if we were kids. I never played then. No, no, no. But indeed. I think that was the kickoff to people saying, "Oh, what's this Dungeons and Dragons thing?" Indeed. And it really got people to be more interested in. Yeah, and they got into it. Streams like my own started popping up everywhere. Yeah, indeed. And that's uh, precisely the, the, the thing. Uh, here in Mexico, it was kind of weird. Uh, you were playing in some, I don't know, some public place uh, or a comic book store. And then people came and like, oh, look, that's, that's the Stranger Things stuff. <laughs> and they think that, they think that it, this is a new, a new stuff or a new thing. And that you're playing because you saw it on Stranger Things. That this is a totally, a totally 30, new 30, thing. 40 years almost now. Uh, and if you consider that Stranger Things is kind of like a tribute to the, to the 70s, 80s. 80s. Yeah, all right. Uh, you have to think when you see the series that, uh, that this is something that already happened, that existed a long time ago, but they don't do it. So... It's kind of oh, sad, right. as I said, that we don't have that culture here, that, that stuff here before. Not yet, but I would like to make that change, which is one of the reasons why I invited you here on the channel. Ah, thanks. Is because I'm hoping that if you get more, well, more Mexicans involved, uh, not another TPK of game, of course, is all Mexicans. Of but course. I figured if we could get more Mexicans involved and perhaps even some Spanish language programming, perhaps we could boost the popularity 
Um, or ultimately, my goal, I guess, would be to find some local celebrities, um, TV sh TV stars, to play in a one shot game in Spanish. That would be a dream. But for what? For now, we're just going expanding slowly and working on painting something that, well, we'll be doing a lot of here on not another or here on Winged Horizon, because we have the Reaper uh, Kickstarter coming in next oh, month. Oh yeah, that's huge, man. And of course, the uh, recent Z Lot miniatures that we have here. So I'm excited to see where it's gonna go. Let's go ahead and jump this up a little bit so you can okay, see. Okay, yeah, it. I can. Okay, yeah, that's right. Okay, there. I have the light right there. All right. So that's, yeah, indeed, that would be great because, as I said, some people think uh, role-playing games are doomed, which, of course, it is not. Indeed, I think uh, we have even more material than we had uh, ten years back or fifteen years back. Uh, we now have these awesome miniatures. We didn't have that. that, that Actually, you did have uh, a lot back. of. You had a lot of uh, metal miniatures back then. Yeah, indeed. But they were not required. Most people no, didn't no. have the money. Um, they were really just. They were like deluxe. You had to be. You had to be really wealthy to just, and really gung ho to get into like the miniatures because they didn't have that many. People who have them now, of course, they're worth a lot of money. Um, but I think. With D and D, I mean the reason why I think a lot of people uh, want to play is, and a lot more people are playing now is because it's more accessible. Yeah, indeed, because of the war uh, in the internet. Because the internet has yeah. done it. Because we have uh, live shows like Critical Role, which has voice actors playing Dungeons and Dragons. Indeed, expanding the uh, scope of what a game could be. That's like on the professional level, but on the local level, the game level in your home, as if you're 12 years old and you want to run a game, it can still be amazing. You're creating amazing stories and amazing adventures with your friends. Yeah, indeed, and you can achieve them more easily. Uh, now we have the media, we have, uh, you can do the music through your computer. Uh, you don't have to do all the stuff that we had to do back in the 90s. Uh, you have to have your cassette and when it's, gets to an end you have to flip it out and to take the recording uh, again and uh, just hold on hold on i'm gonna find the chasing music song so let me check okay yeah now we can continue with the chasing of the dragon i don't know anything like that you, you did that perhaps <laughs> <laughs> wow this okay, guy yeah. is old well yeah so sorry so oh, old well, yeah, yeah, yeah. I am an old, old school uh, role playing game. Indeed, I started with uh, with Vampire the Masquerade. Indeed, uh, back in '95, here in Mexico, I didn't know anything about it's role actually, playing games. Vampire the Masquerade, I think, is more popular here. I yeah, know, I've indeed. seen it uh, advertised here a lot. That and Pathfinder, but um, I, of course, I want to promote all RPG games. But yes, D and D is my, I guess, my true love because it's what I started with. Um, yeah. My Same quick question me, for man. you now, yeah. back to the painting. Yeah, please. What should I go continue with today? So okay. last time we were painting here, we had these two. Let's see, can you see them okay? Okay. There we go. All right, there we go. So we have these two. I've been working on the muscles, but I'm trying to get more shape on them. Am I not? Or do I move on to something else? What am I supposed to work on now? No, that is right. You can, you can continue on that. So now for that... We're gonna work with a smaller uh, miniature. We're gonna do the same flesh tone that you used the last time. Uh, same no, flesh tone. What is that? That was the brown, light brown, leather brown from yeah, Reaper right. Miniatures uh, Core Series. We're gonna check on them so we can achieve the right one. And we're gonna continue. We're gonna check if you have uh, precisely the right, the right one. Okay. Oh, hello, welcome. Hi. I think something just happened. Let's see. Oh, we have Sage Todd. Welcome, Sage Todd. Hi. Thank you for following. Okay. All yeah. right, so we have these three right here that we're going to look at to figure out the skin tone. Yeah, and there are some tips. Some uh, For some of you, may sound like nonsense. Or some, uh, mm, I don't know, not minding things. But it helps. It helps a lot because... There's a lot of practicing, there's a lot of patience, and there's a lot of work. And you get to to cherish these things because of the time that you spend on painting them. I don't recommend to start with the with your best miniature sometimes. I recommend to start with the bigger ones uh, because so you can achieve the details even easier. 
And okay, in this time, let's check the tone. For these ones, you used, uh, I'm pretty sure you used this I think tone. I used a black, didn't I? Uh, I think for I used the beginning, one yes. drop of black, and then I used two oh. drops of leather brown. Yeah, for the we were working with this one. But this is the one that you used. So now we go something lighter, right? You were already in the lighter. You then used just use one drop, one. one drop of this, and one drop of this, and then afterwards, you use we use use the wash, the easy shade wash, which we're gonna see here from the running label. You can find it as a Vallejo. You're gonna find it as wash or shades. What are shades and washes good for? Why would you? Because you can make your own way wash, right? You can just mix water with it. So what? Why do you want to buy a, a wash or a shade? Uh, Specific paint. Specifically, okay. Well, yeah, you can do that. Then also, there's all there are also tutorials uh, that shows you how to improve or how to create your own washes. Uh, I don't really recommend it for the beginners. Uh, when you have some practice, you can uh, recognize a good quality in the in the washes or in your paintings. But for beginners, I don't recommend it. Uh, just go for the label. The labels know what you want you want to achieve or you can achieve a better result with a label wash. Uh, the washes, now that we're getting specific into the labels and into the brands. Make sure you shake these things up, always yeah, shake. Always, always before it. And just before continuing on the washes. So you can check the true color. This, uh, these containers, Normally are a little bit, uh, a little bit gray or kind of light, uh, transparent, white. So you can look at the bottom of them. So you can see the right color. In this case, it shows you which color. Uh, it's more like the real color. Of course, you can just pop up. You can you can see the the paint just straight. But you can see on a store because of course you're not gonna go and open the flask and let me take a drop. To look how it looks you look at the bottom you can see uh, which is more likely the real color on this on these pots so well in this case you're gonna go for a lighter color we're gonna strike with this one this one is straight and continuing with the washes uh, this takes its name because of you make a total wash on their miniature Normally, there's also jokes about dipping the miniatures uh, in the wash, which I don't really recommend, but some mm -hmm. people like it. It's like, just okay. Just fast and just dip them in. Yeah, I don't know. For metals, uh, you have a totally armored, uh, like in Warhammer, we have some armies that, okay, this is a unit for 25 spearmen, which are... Uh, 25 spearmen, yeah. though, is a little bit different. That takes forever to paint, yeah. so you just like... Just yeah, throw right. some paint, splash some paint. Yeah, you just go and pick it up and just go fishing afterwards and you just... Kind of like an Easter egg, yeah. pretty much. Yeah, please don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. I don't want to see it. Well, that's just for the tabletop yeah. quality, right? Yeah, no, it, it, it applies for anything because, I don't know, in role-playing games, we, uh, I use a lot of uh, Warhammer miniatures for role-playing games because uh, one of the greatest things for, for those miniatures is that you have uh, multiple choices for weaponry, or uh, little bits, or you want someone with a Lots sword. Lots of modding opportunities. Yeah, indeed. But it's also a little bit more expensive. Let's give or take. But I don't know. For role playing game, you may have, uh, you may want some miniature horde of miniatures, uh, or goblin horde. Okay. And now, no. If you're talking about a, ho a goblin horde, perhaps you're talking about. 25 to 100 goblins in the table and you have to paint all that I don't know and perhaps you just wanna okay I'm gonna use a light green on every one of them and then I'm just gonna dip it into wash please don't do that take your time be patient uh, the wash that you're gonna use in that way is just uh, apply it on every miniature it's gonna be fast and just, just let it dry. What kind of brush would you use for a wash? Okay, we're gonna use some soft brushes, some soft big brushes. I have one over here. Most of the labels have its own wash brush or a special wa uh, brush for the washes. For example, I work a lot with the Citadel. Now I work with the Ronin, but we use what we have. This is a Citadel. A uh, citadel brush for Would washes. Would like this or this for really a dry brush? No, you can use that because this is a big brush. 
you can you want something that uh, absorbs a lot of of ink or in this case a wash so you can apply it you just go to apply it we're gonna do that uh, in a moment with this one but I'm gonna start just show you before you start with that okay and um, also we have to mention what does the wash does uh, before it was only washes now we are dividing them uh, into shades and glazes what is the difference the shade as its names just say so it darkness and we're gonna do it on this and this little cake all right just to show off uh, I just took a little of this wash and you're just gonna apply it you're gonna see if you didn't notice the faults right away oh there right there it is thank you okay that's a little better. Okay, there yeah, you know. that right. Uh, fun you can see the fault. Painting while streaming. <laughs> yeah, you that's have to figure out where are you gonna put your hands so yeah. people can actually watch what you're doing. Yeah, and I have my marks, but I I think I just lost lost them. I'm just gonna apply it half of the cake. In this case, I'm just using a brown one, so you can see where now it goes. Now, what kind of effect does this really give to that cake? Because right now I'm looking at it, and it just looks makes it look a little wet. Yeah, indeed. So what's uh, it actually doing? Uh, I'm darkening this green i'm using a brown one so you can see it and just applying it and just darkening the color and just i'm gonna put some of this in this white surface so you can see it you can see how it pops out the details okay this is just for an example but you can see how the clothes work and it shows also the, uh, the other details if it was a uh, light brown, which you did uh, last time, and we're gonna do in this miniature, uh, it darkens the color. So if it has a lighter brown beneath it, I use I'm just gonna darken it out, or darken it in, just in the recesses, like this one. Yeah. And also afterwards, we're gonna paint only the surface, only the rice areas. So we can uh, put some light in this miniature. Uh, we're just gonna let it dry and we're gonna improve on this color afterwards so you can see what I'm talking about. But yeah, that's pretty much the washes. The washes are divided now into shades and glazes. The shades, as its name says so, it just uh, darkens the color, it gets into the recesses. It, it helps you a lot because if you messed some of the recesses before, you can just darken and go in there. So yeah, all the little crevices that you yeah. can't reach with your paintbrush. Yeah, that's, that's right. what a wash is really good for. Is what yeah. you're saying. Yeah, right. And you can continue with those ones. The glazes, uh, uh, by other other part, it just uh, makes the effects. You can make good light effects on the uh, with those ones. The glowing eyes or I don't know some fire. Some of those effects are better with the glazes. The glazes are, no, are not dark colors, they are bright colors, kind of like this. You can achieve this kind of color uh, with a glaze. Okay, it looks dark and <laughs> da a lot. Unfortunately, uh, well, uh, this is because of the green, green screen. screen. Go ahead, so you're not going to see this one. Yeah, so well, a bright yellow like this one. Yeah. So we have this one. Let me go ahead and actually change your camera because no, I have your right. camera for green screen right now. Yeah, that, yeah, I didn't notice that. Yeah. <laughs> so this is the one he's trying to show. Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah. Well, this is the one he's trying to show us right here. Just for the tone, just for the cream tone. He, indeed, if you can show the bottom of so it. So this is just a regular acrylics paint. Why, why yeah. would you win or why would you use this? Well, a uh, regular acrylic paint, well, we won't use that on a miniature normally because some people think that it's the same okay i can i can get some here in mexico we have the rodan the rodan table the rodan label okay there yep you can have green now okay <laughs> i can show the green now okay yeah yeah <laughs> there you have it, the green and these are really bright tone which i just wanted to show you because you can get this kind of effect as you can see even that it is the same color you can notice here that this is darker because of the shadow of this little edge. Yep, okay. And you can get also this little brightened color 
dot with the glazes. We're gonna show one of the miniatures afterwards about it. Yeah, that right. Uh, some so people think they're they're the same. I, I don't know. This is a Vinci. This is normally a scholar a scholar label for kids on the. Let's jump into your. What are you going to work on? What should I work on? Because I think we're going to work on my muscles. So you're going to work on the muscles, and you're going to go do dirty bone the, and leather bone, or no. leather bone and medium tone. The other one. Yeah, that's right. We're going to make some tests. You're just going to draw some lines here. Okay. And we're going to compare them. Some so lines. Am I yeah. comparing one and one? Uh, just, no. I just recommend you to take it from there, like that. Yeah, you just took the drop. I'm just going to make something like this. Okay. We're going to show you right away. Yeah, that that's enough. Don't worry. They look really similar. Yeah, but not the, the same. The medium tone is the darker one and more orangish. Indeed. And the leather brown is the lighter one. Indeed. So what would you recommend for this girl here? I would say this is almost translucent. We're going to uh, watch it dry. And we always wear down our paintings. Okay. Yeah, there it is. Perhaps you cannot see it right away in this camera because of the light. And because the surface beneath is white. But believe me, this is almost translucent. We always wear down the paintings. Also, we were talking about this one. Right. Um, I'm ready to get started then. Yeah, please. Go ahead with this one. Now I'm supposed to wash it down with one drop of water, right? Yeah. So when I use drops of water and I want to wash something down, I always use, I found a needle, a syringe, and I found it's really useful. I use the needle part in case my paints get clogged. Indeed. So I have the needle here. And I keep that covered, of course, because it can really hurt if you get stuck on you. And then I have this syringe that I use. So I can just measure one drop out at a time. And I think I need to go get my our uh, coffee that's waiting for us. Coffee? Yeah. There's some coffee sitting on the pot okay, right now. Okay, yeah, all right. So am I going to be mixing these two together, or am I just going to be using one of the paints? One of the paints, because you already did. They didn't saw this, but you already did that. You took the darker color and just wear it down. Okay. And afterwards, you did uh, the wash thing. That's why um, the fur on the ankles looks like that. Uh, just before you were using oh, the yeah. wash and you're just taking that for this the camera. Like squeeze yeah, that out. Right. That's why it looks like that. Because you already used a wash here. Oh, I need to go ahead and adjust your focus here real quick so they can see real better. Mm -hmm. Give me one moment. Yeah, of course. Yeah, take your time. So that's why you can see these muscles because Josh already used the wash on this. So you don't look at it as a flat tone. You can see also the crevices on the muscles here and here. It doesn't matter about the focus because um, the focus, because you can see the muscles and the lines that I'm talking about. And also the four on the ankles, you can see that it is pretty dark in there. So. We're gonna continue. So you already did this. You already did the 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 wash thing. So now we're gonna do a lighter color. And you just wanna we're gonna show you how to do this. Uh, this technique they do it a lot in the in some of the other tutorials. You're gonna see it on the. I'm just gonna take a look at this. Okay. I'm just gonna make some painting process in this one, so you can see it. Normally they have it the two brushes because they do it uh, real quick All right. we're, gonna, we're not done, gonna do that quickly this is the muscle and we already made uh, the, the crevices around it so we're not gonna touch that, uh, that paint anymore we're just gonna take some paint make a little line and we're gonna twist so we can get a pointy end and we're gonna make only touching with the pointy edge the top parts of the muscles you can see where there's more light here i'm only touching the top parts of this muscle it's gonna give some light on the top and it's gonna give the sensation of volume 
Now do not worry if you cannot see it uh, right away here because you're gonna just look at uh, some stains. Do not worry, as I said, this is almost translucent. When it gets to dry, you're gonna just uh, see how it, uh, how it fits with the rest of the painting. And okay. that is one of the reasons also why we wear down our paintings. So it, uh, it gets so just thin layers. All right, so I'm not about to cover the whole muscle, but no. just the tops of muscle? Just the top, because you already did two layers on the wash. Right. So, so we like, just have to do some... Like, like this? Yeah, or is like, that just too fat? Is it too much? No, it's okay. It's okay. Because it, it almost doesn't seem very wet. It seems very solid, that part right there. Yeah, do not worry. It's okay. That's what he always says. Don't worry, just paint. <laughs> That's pretty much the reason that you call this... It is the exact reason why I called it this. Oh, okay. So now it is my fault. Yeah. <laughs> I thought it was a great name. It reminded, no, it reminds me of Bob Ross where he's just like, let's just paint happy. It's a happy mistake. Oh, yeah. Now you're painting happy muscles? I am. All muscles should be happy. <laughs> Look at these really nice six-pack muscles that this she has. She is going to be a beast of a woman. Indeed. A beast or nonetheless. Wish she, or wish she be a sow. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay. So am I painting just the tops like this? Yeah, indeed. You're going to just add, and add some light. along the top here? Yeah, and all the muscles. Think of it as, as you're getting the light from the top to the bottom. And you can, yeah, you can just take it like so that. So light from the, like the sky, you mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah, all right. So it's like shadow. Mm -hmm. Or, I guess, highlights. Yeah, the light tells you directly where you're gonna have to put that muscle or that light. Okay. When I get this barbarian. Well, here we go then. Yep. I'm gonna try this. It seems, it's a little bit daunting for me I'm, as I'm new to painting, but I'm gonna just keep trying this and hopefully it comes out right. Ah, believe it comes me, out it's a little bit be. realistic, so I don't have to scratch it all and put it in the green, green, clean stuff. Oh, make sure you adjust your camera so we can so you can see what you're painting. Yeah, I need that is it. Okay, yeah, that is it. Yeah, that is a lot, a lot of fun, but it is kind of weird when you hey have to. Hey there, like... Bree. Bree, if you have any questions about painting today, this is the guy to ask. At least right now. <laughs> um, yeah, Hill. This is Hill has been painting for quite some time, and he's ready to answer any questions about painting uh, that you might have, whether it's getting into it or it's doing something advanced. Uh, we're more than he's more than happy to answer it. I can't answer so many questions because I'm actually pretty new. Indeed, and go ahead. We're going to start with the from the basics, because also for role playing games, you're uh, normally eager to start with your miniatures it's like uh, i have my new character and i want to my new character and i want to start right away i don't want to i don't know i don't want cargo the barbarian to start until next week so i can uh, get it on tabletop your thing looks like a, a swamp monster right now right now yeah he looks like such a swamp monster you don't want to say that to, to him on the face yeah, probably not. He would probably crush my skull in, in one blow. Or turn your six into a one. I don't know. It's a tiny little thing. The details on these miniatures are really awesome. I really love the Z-Lot miniatures. Uh, this, pretty, their brand, yeah, when pretty, I saw them, I, I am ashamed to say that I took out my credit card. <laughs> I took out the credit card and said... Please give me some discounts. <laughs> they did give me some freebies. I got some, uh, uh, like a, a minotaur head, it's a decapitated head. And I got- and That looks awesome. Yeah. It really looks cool, yeah. And then I got another thing. Well, you know, um, that's the thing. I know um, Devin Rue, she also has issues with her vision. So she uses uh, modified glasses to be able to help her be able to see the details. Like she can do extreme details yet I believe she has some issues with her vision, but she, her work is incredible. So there's always ways around issues like that. Um, I've even seen photographers who are colorblind who do amazing work. Uh, really, it just 
it just takes uh, getting the brush out and trying it on and doing a really crappy job at first and then getting better and better, I think. And do not worry. Uh, too many people think that we just, uh, that everything is done about detail and you have, uh, you have two tiny little brushes. Do not worry. There are also techniques uh, that helps you with that. So do not worry. We're going to cover all that up. And it, uh, you can show us, you can show us uh, what do you want to paint? We can find a way that you uh, that you can achieve it. Um, you believe it, you can achieve it. Something like that, yeah. <laughs> but also you have to take some effort. Um, as I said just the first time, this is a lot of patience. This is a lot of work. Patience is the one thing I don't have a lot of sometimes. I try to speed through everything. And that's why uh, I also recommend for that uh, kind of cases, as I told you, uh, try not to be not to be into a rush take your time sometimes we have we want to finish just one miniature in the at first and i don't know one day or two in this case how long has it been since you started that two weeks this miniature minotaur um i've been working on her for about yeah about two weeks but that's because i've only worked painted like once a, once a day and just with you but lo look at this she's already coming out look at the muscle tone did only in three sessions and also uh, as I recommend in the judge. She's going to be one hot minotaur. Mm -hmm, indeed. And also you can uh, start with, uh, I don't know, if you are making a complete unit. I don't know, as, I, as we mentioned before, goblins or uh, beastmen, something like that. In this case, minotaurs. Or you're just making some armors or humans. You can take not just one, uh, perhaps two or three, and start with those ones uh, all at the same time. So you can practice on the same uh, on the same team. In this case, we're working on muscles mainly. So Joyce is working on muscles uh, every season, <laughs> and you can see what he has achieved. He, he was pretty pretty good, and this is so easy. It's for about more about practice and constants. For those of you watching right now, uh, make sure you try to share this as much as possible. Once we hit a certain level of uh, followers, I believe I have, if it's uh, fifteen subscribers or. 20 followers, um, I'm going to be giving away a minotaur. Not the ones I'm painting because those are from the table that I'm using, but I'll be ordering a minotaur from Zlot Miniatures, miniatures to send to you. Um, not each one of you, but a winner at the giveaway. So that's what we're trying to go for today. Um, we have some other exciting giveaways coming up. I believe you mentioned you have some uh, some cool shirts you're gonna, you could have going away uh, for giveaways. And just yesterday, we were sponsored by Atlantis Miniatures and they will be sponsoring some miniatures for me to paint and give away after I paint. I'll have some special miniatures, miniatures that I'm giving away only to Patreons. Um, then I'll have one for the stream, and I'll also have one for the Not Another TPK game coming in March, uh, March 3rd or March 5th on Sunday. Do I have a tweet active? I do. I have you a couple did. tweets active. Yes, indeed. And Atlantis miniatures are awesome. They're they're starting with some of the. I saw some of the new miniatures. Uh, you can just pre-order some of them right away, oh. and they're pretty pretty good miniatures. I love their uh, their dwarves. Uh, not many labels have uh, female dwarves. They do. You uh, know my Atlantis miniatures? Oh yeah, yeah their dwarves are mm -hmm. incredible. Yeah, and and as I said, normally they don't. Have, normally, not all the labels have female. Uh, yeah, they have female and males, yeah. writers, everything. This gal has a lot of side boo. I think I have to give some <laughs> yeah. highlights on the side boo too, yeah? Yeah, indeed. On the outside? Yeah, indeed. definitely. Let me yeah, see probably. if I can show you. Yeah, right there. So I'm going to have to figure out how to get that in there without smearing on my metal. Do not worry because this is going to be beneath the, under the armor. Oh, so I'm you going can, to you worry. Can, Okay. <laughs> these guys, these miniatures, uh, the Zila miniatures, believe it or not, are about $23 or $24 per miniature. miniature yeah. Um, most miniatures, these are like top of the line kind of miniatures that are custom made. Uh, not custom made, they're, they're made for the, for the custom uh, brand or whatever for this, the, I guess mode, yeah. well, not mode, for the, for the group of miniatures they make. And then they of course make the molds, but they're, such finely detailed. They were crafted each way. Each of them were crafted individually by an incredible sculptor. 
handcrafted, and then they made the molds. Um, that's not the same for, say, uh, like a Nolzer's, Nolzer's miniatures. These guys are pretty darn cheap. You can get two of these. They usually come in two in a package. And, yeah, two in a package, and they're, they're already pre-primed, so you can just start painting right away. You don't have to prime them with a spray paint, uh, like one of these things. Or, uh, yeah. Or... You could use a spray, or you can use um, the primer that I was using most of the time. Yeah. Oh my goodness, where's my camera? Okay, yeah, you can use there the surface primer, but yeah, you can really, it's really incredible what you can do with them. You don't need to prime these guys. Reaper miniatures, I've heard you can paint without priming, but I wouldn't, I've heard it's not recommended because no, the paint can just kind of slide off and go into areas you don't want them to, whereas with primers, they stick to the miniature. Uh, Reaper miniatures are, each, are equally pretty cheap, around five dollars, ten dollars for the larger one, or eleven dollars. Um, Reaper or WizKids uh, Nolzer's miniatures—they come two in a package, so that's a really great deal. Just go and grab a few of them and start practicing with them. Um, Indeed, they are so accessible. Yeah, these ones are more specialty. I decided to get them just because I really liked. They inspire me to make a new story, a storyline, and even an adventure module that I'll be writing about the Minotaurs. Let's see. Yeah, because I'm, I'm, I'm getting some paint out. I'm choosing some color. Where else should I do her muscles? I'm wondering if I should do any more on the top of her. It would be like this, or would it be more along the side here, too? No, do not worry. In that, the crevice? No, that will be okay. Not in the crevice? No, no, you want to do it like that. Because there's also one last layer that you have to do there. So do not worry. It's a, it's okay, so it's not just around the edges, but it's just like on one side. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, it's like uh, kind of just give the, the sensation or the aspect of volume. So it's going to be okay. All right. I think I got what I need. Oh, no. I got none of leather. All right. Hmm. So many paints, I cannot find the one. Yeah, one of the one. reasons I decided to contact Hill in the first place is because I had these expensive miniatures, and I'm really an amateur, I think. So I, I thought, okay, I should get some maybe tutorials, live tutorials, um, and have him show me how to paint more better so I can get to the spot where I need to. And this is where I'm at. Now, also, Bree, since you did throw some bits, feel free to give some suggestions on what you'd like to see as paint or what you'd like to if you had some ideas or suggestions feel free to shoot them at me and i will do my best to do though do that because really it's um for me that's what i like um how do i say it i like user or in engagement i like viewer engagement and viewer involvement when i'm doing anything whether it's playing dungeons and dragons or, or painting i mean it's about a community so you're part of the community out there, and now we have to to achieve for you. So, uh, if there's any questions, if there's any kind of miniatures, as we said before, uh, I don't know some little features. You have also already your uh, your character or your character, so you want to start over again with this. Do not worry to to ask. Just ask the questions. We're gonna try to make the basics, as we said before. We can show you some products if you want to. There's a lot of material right now out, out there. Uh, this is not like it, what it used to be before. Uh, there was a time where you have to improve into your paintings, get your paintings, mix your own uh, formulas. Now that is in the that's in the past. You have now access for too many labels. You can. Oh no! Did my camera go out? Uh, no. My camera. My camera died. No. No, no, no. Yes, it did. No, it's frozen. One second. Yeah. There's just so much detail going on there that it decided to freeze on me. Okay. See, you're achieving a good detail. Let's see if we can get this back to live. Mm -hmm. Come on, come back for me, girl. All right, I'll let you go ahead and let you go ahead and focus on your miniature while. Oh, you yeah, can't see okay, there you go. See there? Uh, there it is. <laughs> I, I, the screen was occupied with yours, so I didn't saw. Now I can see. Yeah. I'll take care of the zoom, or the focus for you. Yeah, thank you. And I'm you can always just move the camera. Yeah, indeed. Yeah, that's right. I have this as a reminder where I was, but yeah, that's right. 
that work. All right, well, he's gonna continue painting while I have decided how the heck to fix my camera because it decided to go wonkers on me. Yeah. Come on, be a good girl. As you can see here, I'm just touching the top of the muscles. So this is the second layer. I'm just avoiding the crevices, that's it. I'm not just going for the tops or the pointy tops. I'm going for the complete area above the crevices. Are you able to hear us okay, uh, Bree? Come back to me, microphone. Come back to me. You can do it. At least it's, at least it froze with a nice detailed shot of painting. Yeah, it is. So you can continue painting yeah, while I try to fix it. At least, yeah. Oh my gosh, I don't know what to do with her. You're a bad microphone right now. You're a bad camera right now. Oh my goodness. And I don't know, perhaps you up there. Um... Uh, she has a question here, one second. Are okay. you all doing more of these? I'll definitely be checking these out. I'm at the doctor's appointment, okay. Yes, uh, we're going to be doing a lot. Of, I, ha I bought a horde of, mini of Z Lot Minotaurs. I have a bunch of uh, characters that I'm gonna be painting up myself. Uh, whether right now I'm painting with him one day a week on Wednesdays, but on Mondays and Thursdays, I also have a, my own painting stream where I'm just painting on my own, trying to use the things that he's taught me to be able to uh, well, continue my miniatures and try to get them all painted before my streams so I can actually use them in the games. Or for, of course, uh, giveaways and Patreon rewards, stuff like that. So this one will be coming up in a stream as well. You can't even see this one. This one will be coming up in the stream soon. And actually, let me go ahead and get this fixed. But yeah, I have I have Reaper, Nolzers, uh, Miniatures, a bunch of those. Some of the new ones that came out as well. Some of the new Giants, they're incredible. I love them. I would actually recommend getting one of the big Giants, although they're kind of, they're a little expensive. I'd recommend getting one. You're gonna need to go down a little bit. Okay, left, like that, yeah, right. Uh, there it is. Yeah, and do not worry. Um, these are the miniatures that we're paint, painting right now, uh, but we have a lot, so do not worry. There's always something to paint. Uh, do you want, and tell us what you want to check it out uh, or to look in this channel. Uh, you have any doubts about armor, we're gonna achieve to complete these miniatures. Actually, I got an incredible uh, pack of armor. I asked Zilla Miniatures for a favor. I said, hey guys, I want to, modify i want to modify one of my female barbarians because one of the players in my group is a female barbarian and she just bought plate armor at the store and so like i said this female barbarian looks just like my uh my the pc in my group who's a fighter that uh -huh. just bought plate armor so i said hey, do you guys have any of those extra uh armor scraps um because i want to try to modify them and put them onto one of your 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 girls um, I can go grab that girl real quick if you'd like to, as well as some coffee, and I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. I'm going to try to modify the armor and put it onto the, the female character, the little female model. I'll get her in just a second once I see if I can get this camera up. I'm going to okay. open a new camera and see if it helps. Yeah, let me check just where I am. Just don't want to miss the detail. Okay, yeah, I can see it, yeah. It's just because this camera decides it does not want to be on anymore. Okay. Okay, I think that's it. I think we did it. Setting for your device, USB receiver. Come on, work for me. All right, have a good time with your doctor. I hope everything goes well, Bree. Yeah, do not Thanks for worry. stopping yeah. in. Thank you. Let's try to open a new source and see if it works. Please work. Okay. Well, of course, I need to get this here so you guys don't see all that. Oh my God. Someone stole our background. Now this one's not ready for the backgrounds. 
Um, and that's not the camera that I want. This is not the camera I'm looking for. Okay, yeah. Is this okay. yours or yeah. is this mine? Oh, it's mine. I got it back. Yeah, Yay. you got it back. Okay. Yeah. Okay, that's right. Now I just need to get it organized right. Give me a second. Yes, right away. Silly. And as I, said, as I said, just tell us what you want to see. And once again, don't get into a rush. Just don't get eager to finish your miniature. I just said, we can get expensive miniatures, pretty detailed miniatures. Do not worry. And don't start with those ones uh, just for the beginning. You want to learn about the techniques. You want to learn about the materials. And also, it's not just that, uh, yeah, I bought this new paint and they said it's awesome. You have to learn how to use it. You have to learn how to uh, take care of your brushes. And all that it comes with the practice. There is nothing else. You're just gonna you're going to achieve that with the practice. Some people ask how many miniatures can you do in a day? Well, after five or six years you can achieve about ten miniatures in two days. Complete miniatures. But that comes with the practice, as I said. Well, of course it can take less time. Uh in my case, I, I used to work in some stores, some, some stores in Mexico. Uh, now they, we have more, unfortunately. But uh, I went out again. Okay, let me check for you. No, it went out. No, it's uh, it's gone out. Yeah. But in, in the beginning, there was only two or three stores, and I work on and on them, um, and that gave me the practice and the time. But if you're a regular guy who has its D and D session once in a week, uh, perhaps you want to do your characters, or if you're a dungeon master, which is even more work to do, uh, you can get pretty good stuff on an easy way. You don't have to make uh, to worry a lot of this. No, you no, you're not. No. Uh, yeah, there it is. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Okay, you don't worry about that one. You worry about yours now. Okay. Here you go. I cannot see mine. Ah, yeah, right. This is you. Yeah, I can see it now. Yeah. So this is a lot of job. But the main part is that we do, we do this because we love to do this. So do not get eager. Just relax. This is also a pretty good hobby. I think it's a great hobby. It's a great way for relaxing or just taking it easy sometimes when you've had a rough day um, and just to calm your mind, really. Um, I found it useful for all those things. Indeed, and in your case, as Although I said. I would not recommend streaming and <laughs> painting because that does not calm the mind. As you can tell, it kind of is sometimes if the, something can just go wrong, something simple like, oh, the cameras just don't want to work right now. And they just keep on to pop off. That can be stressful as heck. So I wouldn't recommend streaming and painting at the same time. It's just I'm a glutton for punishment. Indeed. And uh, in this case, I'll, at least I can go on painting. It would be a total different story if you were by your own, fishing up the cameras and nothing else. Yes, I'm the honorary tech guy of the group right now. On the other side, I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't be able to do that just right away, the way that you do it. I think I got her. Okay, let me check if I can fix this camera over here. Yeah, that's right, yeah. Uh, that's it. So they can see straight what they can do. Okay, I'll get, yeah, this, that right. I'll get the zoom fix real quick for you. Here we yeah, go. Yeah, thanks a lot. I'm in your light right now. Thanks a lot. Do not worry. I think I got you. I want them to see what we're doing from here. I'm just moving. All right, give me one second here. I'm going to fix your focus for you, okay? Okay, please. Go ahead. Well, actually, I need to fix my focus real quick. And yeah. then I'll be ready back in. 
Okay. There we go. I think we're good. Yeah? Yeah, we're good. Yep, they're right. Yeah, you can see it there. I think mine, mine's back to normal. All right, let's transition back over. Now we go. Now I can do yours. It's a lot. Okay. I think it's good, eh? Yeah, that's right. get out of your light at least. Yeah, there we right. go. Now your light's out of the way. And there we go. Sorry I was in the light, guys. I'm going to go grab the coffee and that barbarian I was speaking about. The mythic barbarian. She barbarian. And so, as Josh was saying, we have a lot of miniatures, skeletons, everything you need for your dungeon. Indeed, we also can achieve or improve in some terrain, so you have some castle, or you just want to make a personalized uh, base or basing for your miniatures. We also can do that. We're working, indeed, in some bases. I'm just, uh, I just don't have the material right here because it is dry. So once it's dry, uh, we're gonna show it to you how we work on it and what we can do on it. We want to make some stone basing uh, with some grass. And I think Josh wants to uh, to put some snow on it. Uh, so that's what we're going to do later on. In this case, uh, he's, he's getting some advances on his miniature. Oh, he's right away. Ah, yeah, here he, here he is. Yeah. OK, uh, he went for the coffee. But he let me this prayer to show you. This is awesome in this. You have to check it out. Just let me take care out of her little bag. I'm just showing you the the body. This little girl here. Yeah, there it is. Would you like miniature your coffee hill? Or, um, not miniature. Miniature. <laughs> Would you like miniature in your coffee? Would you like sugar in your coffee? Okay. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> that will be sweeter then. Yeah. Please. <laughs> thanks a lot. Sure. Please for me. Miniature does everything here. Yeah. Indeed. Indeed. This also lovely. You can see it there. Yeah. You can see it there. Okay. Look at the details. It doesn't pop out really because of the size of holes. You can see that, yeah, there it is because of focus. The focus in the camera is the front. I'm gonna take this out of the way so you don't miss the details. And this is for a player, uh, from one of your players, which want this one to be its character. I'm gonna show you the head here. Okay, yeah, put it there. Oh yeah, lovely coffee. I don't know where you are watching us, but here is not pretty early. Okay, this is what we were talking about. This sword is an awesome sword, but you can see it's a little bit bent. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and get the focus working on you guys again, so you can see how close it is. Uh, let's see here. Oh, that's not the one I want. No, no. Let me get the focus here for you all. Yeah, that's right. So you can see there's a, a, a bent sword. Do not worry. As this is a resin, we're going to do... Resin. What Josh, uh, resin, sorry. Mm -hmm. Thanks a lot. Uh, yeah. So we're going to do what Josh said just before. Uh, we're going to correct this sword into hot water. Do not try to bend it just dry like this. You're going to just break it. And because this is just tiny little things, perhaps you don't... Some of you are new to this uh, kind of stuff, but you can be, it, it is so little. Uh, so you can measure the difference on these miniatures. This uh, paper clip, I just bend it because of the, to pop out the paintings, but this is a paper clip and you can see the size of it just next to the miniature. So you can see how good is the detail on this. And these things 
And I'm going to show you the head. Go ahead, go ahead and show me the miniature one more time. Can yeah, I focus for close. him? Yes, yes. There we go. You can get close up to the camera if you want. Okay, yeah, all right. Uh, watch out for the light. Get the light on. Let the light fly in. Just put it in the palm of your hand. Okay. And then you'll be able to see all the detail. So, yes, this, this minotaur is a barbarian female. And my plan is to use the armor scraps. I got a bunch of armor scraps here. Uh, from Zealot Miniatures, and I'm going to use these scraps, not the big axe, of course, but the scraps to give her plate mail. Um, it's going to be hard. It's going to be a lot of cutting and, and trimming, but I think it's going to be a really rewarding thing once I get it all ready. I'm going to try to get it ready before the March game. Um, that wasn't that game March 3rd or March 5th? Yes, this should be March, March 3rd. On March 3rd, we're going live with not another TPK, and I'd like to introduce this new miniature for May, the fight, the fighting, yeah. the amazing fighter. So, yeah, this this details for all the miniatures, whether it's a Zealot, whether it's a Minotaur or with a human, is just oh my gosh, it's mind blowing, it's okay. breathtaking. Yeah. So you said again, Zealot miniatures. This is a Shiver variant. A female barbarian for the ones that want to check it out please thanks a lot and well you can see how the advances are I'm just putting here in front of the camera with the dark green color you cannot notice all the crevices and all the muscles this was like this before I just making one of the legs and you can see the difference on the colors here they are this really one, yeah, this, work, one is, yeah. this one is darker. This one is already has the light, and even in the in the tail, you can see there's they take that detail. There's also a crevices in the tail, and they do it. So if it's there, if they do, if they done it, if some sculptor took the time to make it, please paint it. Just please paint it. Believe me, it's, it's worth it. All right, here we go. I'm going to continue working on my highlights. Mm -hmm. So right now I'm ready. I'm painting the highlights on my miniature. Um, I'm moving a little bit this camera. Just I'm just bringing it over to me. I just have to push it over there, and yeah, you can see now. Yeah, there it is. So I can embrace I'll it. I'll adjust it for you once you get get it up and get it ready for okay, yourself. Okay, just. Yeah, there it is. I can walk there. Yeah. So you can see the perspective that I have in from the miniature. All right. What I'm going to do is I'm going to see if I can bring some light over to you. I'm Looks not like worried. Two of these lights. Don't, don't not worry. It's okay. This will bring light to both of us, though. Okay. Yeah, I think. I think so. Yeah, that's nice. All right, now we can see the little details as we're painting for both of us. Okay, there we go. You're okay there? Yeah, I'm okay. great. Yeah. Okay, let's get her painted. Okay. We're going to continue on the muscles. As I said before, remember, we're just avoiding the crevices in this one. So her face doesn't have a lot of muscles here. Oh, but there, but it has to. All the details, all the the brows, the nose. I'm using my finger here to guide my hand to make sure I don't, it's, it helps me keep yes, the straight the, lines. The closer you get to the, to the point, the more control you get. Also, you can see me using my pinky finger and just point it towards so I can get more control. Some people say they don't have the control or they have don't have the sight. Do not worry. As I said before, it's it's about practice, patience. Again, I think we're gonna get two of these lights, so we have one for each of us. Yeah, that will, that will work. Yeah, indeed. Boom.
I mean, while well, have you tried already the Pathfinder system? Uh, the old, new one, you mean? That just yeah, came the out? new one, yeah. Well, I actually don't play a lot of Pathfinder. No, so but you're aware of the systems. So I heard there's a new one coming out, like a new version, like almost like 5e. It's yeah. like the 5e, Dungeons and Dragons 5e, but for Pathfinder. But Indeed. I haven't mm -hmm. heard much, many reviews about it. I mean, of course, there's always going to be people who are going to complain about anything new. Mm -hmm. And there's going to be some people who just will embrace anything that comes out with one company. So I don't really know what to trust or what to think about that one yet. I'd rather hear it from somebody who plays a lot and has tried it. But currently, my focus, I have so many RPGs that I can focus on at one time. Indeed. And that, my that focus is, a... is on D&D, uh, &D, and now I'm learning Cthulhu, Call of Cthulhu, and Stars Without Number. Stars Without Number was sponsored to us by Cine Anomina Publishing. So we'll be, oh no! So when I make a big boo-boo like this, I call it boo-boo because I work with a lot with kids. Yeah. I use a Q-tip. Yeah, and also if there's and a wet uh, Q-tip. Yeah, the right thing you have to wet it. But also you can use the point of your brush. You just wash it out, take it dry, and you can take all the paint out. That also helps. It depends on the detail because sometimes the Q-tip it's bigger than the detail, but it helps a lot. There we go. I think that's better. Much better. Okay. Much better, yeah. But you can see how I'm working on this. go so if you're coming here just now what I'm working on right now is the highlights and my brush is not wanting to do the things I'm wanting it to do right now remember to uh, to twist it so you can achieve the point a, a really good tip I have my point on it because the brush kind of got hard when we were talking <laughs> okay I'm getting too much paint now. That's the issue I'm having. So instead, I'm just getting a lot of paint on there, and then I'm just damping it down and taking some away. But she'll still have a very, very defined face, as you can see. Yeah, that is nice. Yeah, indeed. All the muscles. She is going to be one badass on the table. Indeed, when you show it to me, it's, it was like, man, these miniatures are awesome. And the ones that you're waiting for, blah. I'm really excited to see what uh, the Atlantis miniatures, they said they're going to surprise me. And we're going to work out some, some details about which ones I, I get and what I do with them. Pretty much for, that's for the giveaway stuff. I think that's too much on her head, so I'm going to dampen it down again. Okay. Perfect, I think. Okay, we're getting all these muscles covered. I think I'm going to get a little bit on her. Well, I better move these guys out so I don't get the paint other stuff I'm working on. I want to get a little bit on her under ear lobe too. Okay, yeah, I'm with, yeah, right. This guy's huge. There we go. Just a just a smidge. Just a smidge, a small little bit. That's a little bit too much, so I'm just gonna use this to kind of Soften it out. Perfect. I think I got this well. Now I'm going to go to the hands. Okay. And I'm thinking about where does the, does the light hit, and I'm going to paint those spots. Indeed. There's two ways to do, to do that. You can 
just put it under the light and see where it go where the light goes the other one is just to check the rice area the erased areas so you can paint only the top of it and you go smaller and smaller every time so I start when I make a mistake or I do too much paint I use a wet tip with a q-tip um, to first wet it down and then I use the dry spot to make sure it's not it doesn't stay wet so I can continue painting indeed yeah so you can just take out the the excess pretty much it weighs paint so it's better just to use more or less paint but for example my brush is not wanting to paint the way I want it to there we go I think I definitely need to get some better brushes probably in time because this brush is not painting the way I want it to I point it and it doesn't go which one is it the uh, tiny little one my virtuoso I have a virtuoso brush that I grabbed from Amazon I those are it. pretty good it's a pretty good label mm -hmm. uh, unfortunately as we're saying we were saying about the paintings it's the same thing for the tools or, or the accessories um, some uh, we were talking about it uh, last much. time it's uh, there's tools for every kind every kind of activity in this case also the tools for modeling some or for modeling or for wargaming painting it's uh, there are special ones well, virtuoso had different brushes of all types mm -hmm. that's just why I got them but I don't know if I'm so satisfied with them they're pretty good but they're gonna be useful for pretty good details or soft details I don't know perhaps like the eyes something like that oh my goodness this is getting dust uh, I know why I'm gonna have to repaint this for sure why oh it fell to the floor I think and getting got a lot of dust on it this side is beautiful you can see this yeah. side is beautiful right here but this side not so much the back kind of lost its painting shine i have to go over that one again as we go we go on on these miniatures also i have to ask because this is josh josh's miniature how how are they gonna look are they gonna look uh, old their weapons are gonna be rusty they're gonna be uh, all messed up we were talking about if they're they were part of a clan or they were not that civilized for saying some somehow or aligned to some master but they have part of a family pretty much and I haven't decided yet I think they are kind of one from one group of course they will be from one group yeah but so far I haven't decided how I'm going to show that um, I do believe the armor and stuff I'd like to have them uh, be very bloody and and rusted from the blood perhaps even okay because they all have been hoarding hoarding they all have been like marauding through the countryside um, when they're finally introduced to my game and players can see them how does that look is that all right or is it too patchy no that is okay yeah that is right all right so i finished my little highlights what should i do next phil now we're going to be doing the the edge highlights or the last highlights we're going to use the same flesh tone that you already used and we're going to clear it down with this one okay in this case for the label is uh, dirty, dirty bone, bone by reaper okay yeah, indeed. And you're just gonna add a drop does to your um, because of the amount that you are having add two drops please and you're gonna use only the tips and only in the top parts now, now only the top parts the corners the the raised areas and that will be it for the muscles okay remember to notice or uh, you, can, you can you can even write it down 
uh, notice that you have to maintain the record. Should I mix it which into this one? Yeah, two drops. One and two drops. The other right. Because you have to remember, if you want to to repeat the same formula, you have to remember which color did you use. In this case, Josh starring, and of course, he, uh, you don't have to buy all the paintings. All the paints? At once, uh, all the paints at once, huh? thank you. Um, yes. Because you're spending a lot of money in your miniatures and also spending a lot of money in your paints. So, you go little by little. This paint does not want to come out. Okay. I got the needle. There it comes. Okay, that is good. It's drying up, I guess. I don't know. Afraid I'm going to squeeze it, too hard and it's going to. It come. gets stuck because uh, of the old paint. Gets stuck in the in the. In the way out yeah you're gonna check out some tutorials I'm pretty sure and you're gonna see that they have all the paintings already and they give you a huge list of colors ah, that's a little bit more than two drops I think okay do not worry it's okay I finally got it out but it just came splashing out crazy crazy I think we need to add bits here because we had some people throwing bits today and that was awesome bit goal here we go Let's see, what's our goal? Let's go for 4K bits because okay. 4K sounds like great. So 4K, 4K. All right, here we go. And for the numbers, let's see, 4,000. Starting point, what do we get here? We got 50 and 45, so that's 95. So we start at 95. Excellent. Thank you so much, Bree. And today is the month is 02. Month day here. Month 02. And we'll just go to 28. Okay. And what is that? 28th, 2019. Here we go. Okay. These cameras are so much fun to play around with. <laughs> that I can notice, yeah. Camera's going crazy. Oh, okay. no, no, I moved. <laughs> yeah, I'm moving it so they can see what I'm looking at from my point of view. I'm gonna move some of these around, guys. Yeah, all right, there it is. So you already can see what I can see. And I'm making my marks here. 
so I know where do I have to put my hands. It's a little bit hard for, because this is our our first time. Yeah, my know. first my first time streaming, our first time together. So you know how it works. Have to fix it out everything. I think we're doing great. Don't worry about that. We're doing great. I think. <laughs> All right, there we go. Okay. I think that works. It's kind of a crazy little combination. But what we're going to do is I changed the whole thing for you. So now you're going to have to at least hop to the camera. Okay, just let me check this. Is it left? Right. Okay. Okay. Oh, well, okay, I have already the two parts. We're go I'm gonna make, of course, the the arms and the weapons and the hands. What is going to show looks you? Looks so awesome. It looks great. Looks handsome. Let me go ahead and get him. What you're doing is just so cool. All right, I'm gonna work on mine too. What should I do next? Oh, you said mix these two together. I'm gonna yeah, put so my you're paintbrush gonna down, which I don't have that thing anymore, so I'm gonna use this one. Yeah, don't worry. In this case, you also can use this one, don't worry. Lots of coffee. Yeah, it's Colombian coffee. Chips. Pretty good, pretty good. It coffee. is, I'm not a coffee drinker, but this Colombian coffee is really yeah. delicious. Yeah, indeed it so is. if there's any Colombian coffees out there that would like to sponsor us, I'd be more than happy to work with you. To work with you? Yeah, of course. <laughs> you never know. Perhaps there, out there there's a producer who loves miniature game or role-playing games and yeah, why not? Well, something the thing I found about uh, I like to just try to mentor some people sometimes and help them be able to achieve their goals. Yep. And I have a person who just who's all, just got onto my Discord recently. Um, and she is a young, inspiring, and aspiring um, modeler and artist. And oh my gosh, she is so inspiring with the things she does. Um, she's creating her own world and making a stop motion uh, video about oh, that. Yeah? Oh yeah, her name is Urkuhart, I believe, Urkuhart. U R Q U H A R T, and it's based on the Loch Ness of the Highlands in Scotland. And okay. her work is incredible. Um, and today we were just talking right before the stream, actually, about okay, so what do you want to do? And she's like, well, I would love. To. I was like, I I had a cool new sponsor. And she's like, wow, that's incredible. How do you do that? How do you get people to support you and to like the things you do and to uh, support your work? And I said, well. You just have to have confidence. The biggest number one thing is to put down your modesty yep. and just just ask people. You will only find out if somebody will support you if you ask them. The worst thing they can do is say no. And that's what she found out. She just told me during the stream, actually, that she uh, sent um, a message, yeah. an email to one of the companies that she really is, uh, aspires to or really likes. Uh -huh. And they already got back to her and said, you know what, we like your project. We will give you discounts on all of our products while you work on your project. And she's just flabbergasted. That's awesome, man. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's awesome, indeed. So really, if you guys have a dream, um, don't just sell yourself short, say, oh, it's not good enough. I am not far enough. I have to finish it first and then. No, if, if you have a dream, find some people that would, could be inspired by you. And if it's something you're using, if you're using products, for example, I was talking to um, Hill here, and I said, well, Hill, Hill, you have paints that I like, um, but I, I can't really afford a ton of paints all the time. And so we came up with a deal that um, he would, uh, Ronin would be a sponsor of 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 the, sh of the show and of the painting streams. So now we are able to work together with Ronin, and the same thing happened with, say, Atlantis Miniatures. I contacted them and said, I have this idea. This is what I do. Um, I paint miniatures, and I'm wondering if you'd like to 
sponsor a few miniatures that I can paint on stream and perhaps give away to viewers. And what'd they say? They said, well, that sounds great. And it shocked me. I was not expecting that because, well, we're pretty new on a stream. I'm, I'm a new painter. I really, I'm painting, I think this is, I've painted less than 10 miniatures in my life. And I'm still able to uh, get people, not because I'm amazing and I can blow people away and I have a huge budget. I have a very little budget that I work on, but I have confidence and I just say, hey, hey guys, I'm, I'm doing this project. You want to be a part of it. So if you have a project you're working on, don't be shy. Talk to people. Reach out. The more people you reach out to, the more people that you collaborate with. I think, um, of course, be careful with those uh, investors, those big investors. Yeah. As we were finding out some from some companies, they tried to own your company later on, own what you're doing, and make you keep on making more and more money. It should never be about all the money you're making. It should be about what you're creating and what's your, what kind of feelings you're giving to people who are following you or who are producing or consuming your products or your entertainment. That should be the most important thing. Um, so let's get ahead, let's get back to what I was doing. I'm going yes. to try to do this without destroying it. I'm mixing these two paints right now. Mm -hmm. I'm mixing two Reaper paints called Dirty Bone and Medium Skin Tone. Valle uh, Reaper, Reaper Dirty Bone and Vallejo Dirty uh, Medium Skin Tone from the Skin Tone package that I got a while back. And this is the color that I'm going to be using right here. Does that sound like a good color or look like yeah, a good color very, to you? Yeah, that's what should I be using on this one? Because before I did highlights, is this going to be shadows? No, no, this is going to be highlights. Okay, for this one, this is going to be the clearest one, and you're going to use uh, you're going to use it just to make the the edge highlights. It's where the light hits real hard. So okay. you're going to use only the, the top, for the top highlights where it kind of like yeah, it right. goes into like a contrasty. Yeah, indeed. So almost like just a small little lines. So I'm going to make sure this is I got, don't have too much paint on this thing here. Okay, meanwhile, I am applying this famous wash, as we said before. I already got there. So, ah, I didn't like that. Too close to the edge. Remember, it's going to be only the point. You're not going to try to cover all, all, all or everything on it. You're just going to make some lines or some dots. It depends. Yep. Okay, uh, so you're watching how does this look with the wash. You were looking at it uh, before you noticed this was kind of orange and now it's kind of real dark uh, I have to let it this wash settle down it's gonna take the wash is the hardest part uh, for against your patience because it takes a long it, it takes a lot uh, to, dry, the wash to dry. The easiest part because it just goes so fast yeah but it takes a lot to dry so if you're you're eager to continue it's like Okay, is it dry already? No, it's so not. What do you do when that happens? As I give you the advice, you can use a hard dryer if you have one, but I normally take another miniature, like this one, and start working on that. It's even better, believe me. That's why I recommend to have uh, two or three miniatures at the same time, so you can spend the time uh, that takes you for the wash to get dry to continue with your miniatures. In this case, as I have these two miniatures, I'm gonna continue with this one, but in the meantime, I'm gonna check this out. Uh, while we were talking, this little fella is already dry, and you can see the difference between the wash before and after. This is green, and I applied the same brown wash from the running label on the half on the cape, and I'm gonna make the same process that we're doing here with the muscles, uh, only that I'm gonna play this uh, for the cape. I'm gonna prepare this. I'm gonna use the same green tone that we used before on it. And this is the Reaper Viper Green. That is the same color that it was before. I'm just gonna prepare just a little bit of it. You're gonna start learning also to work with uh, small amounts of materials because we normally try to uh, um, to adapt to the size of it. I'm just wearing down the paint. 
I'm just using one drop here. Oh, you're working on your uh, massive darkness one. No, no, no. I'm gonna use one of the whiskets else, and I'm just gonna show them how to use to do the same that we're doing on the muscles, but in this little cape. The massive darkness, I'm gonna go there almost right now. I'm just gonna paint the raised areas on this cape. At first, you just want to make a green cape and you use the green color. After, after a while, and when you get some materials, for this cape, I would use uh, one wash and three three green tones. We're gonna get there in time. You can see I'm avoiding the crevices right now because the paint is still wet. You're not gonna notice it. I'm gonna go on the hoof a little bit as well. If you notice I have the hoof here, I'm gonna put a little highlight here on the hoof. Okay. Yeah, that's right. Oh, that's not a little. Now, Josh is saying something really important. Uh, at first, we were checking on references, and that is nice. I don't know, uh, perhaps I don't know how a minotaur looks like, uh, but it's also about observation. We have you have to take some references. You can see now the cape. Let it, we're going to let it dry, but you can notice how the folds are okay i'm gonna move it so you can see it under the light right 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 i just painted the raised areas it's getting dry as i said the acrylic colors are almost translucent and i'm just gonna do the second layer here it is better to use two thin layers or three if you need to do not worry Some people get desperate or too eager to continue. Like me. Nah, you're okay. Believe me. They didn't wire down the paintings. Okay. And the only thing that you get with that is that you lose some of the details. And the details are the main part of these ones. Uh, you paid a lot of a lot of money for them, so you don't want to waste all the details just because you were eager. So take your time, practice. Okay. I'm gonna try to get closer to the crevices, and you can see now how the wash uh, works. This this looks nice, but this one looks even better because we're getting some some play with the shades. And I'm going to continue with that one once it's dry. Now I'm going to continue with this one that I already started. This miniature from Massive Darkness. The problem with these ones is that they are already, they are already assembled. So when you try to get to these spots over here or to the chest, it's pretty hard because you have to reach out with the brush. And there's so many details there, so it's, it's going to be hard. But it's worth it, so do not... Do not doubt about trying it because they, in the end it's gonna work. It. The wash in here it's almost dry, so we're gonna continue with this one also. Want to check it out? I'm gonna also show you how this uh, this they call it troglodytes. For the massive darkness franchise, we also going, we're gonna try this one. A troglodyte? Troglodyte, yeah. What the heck is that? Uh, they look more more like wolves or kind of Celtic barbarian barbarians. But they're kind. Of, I, I really love them. I really like the, it looks the, like the a look man of it. To me. Yeah, indeed. They call it troglodytes. I think troglodytes actually have another name, like it's a creature. Oh, no, indeed, a troglodyte, it will be kind of like a, less than a barbarian. We, um, he 
here in Mexico or in the Spanish language, it would be something kind of like a, a caveman. That would be more like a troglodyte. But well, that is the name that they use for it. Those extreme highlights. That's nice. Yeah, that is really nice. Only touch the top parts. Do not worry too much about it. Now that it is already dry, I'm gonna go for those same highlights that Josh is doing over there. All right. Whew. So Onto the with the wash, I use this tone that you're gonna see here. As I said, on the bottom of the flush, you're gonna see it. If you wanna know which color it is, this is the Har Harvest Brown from Reaper. So this is this was the original color. Then I used a wash for making a shade, so I darken it. And now I'm gonna use the same pretty much pretty much the same color, harvest brown. So I'm gonna use this one for making the highlight. So all the crevices are darkened now. And we're gonna use this. For making highlights not the edge highlights yet we're gonna get there in time and as Josh was saying it is important that uh, that you trust your own work uh, yeah when I made the contact with running I'm one of the uh, I run one of the stores here in Mexico, Mexico City, uh, which are the, we sell the running label. Uh, I run the Fenrir War Games store. And I made the contact with running. It was like, uh, hey, we're, it was kind of hard. <laughs> hey uh, guys. Not something like that because uh, I hope there's a lot of people are, um, uh, American or British people who watches us but mm, let's be honest uh, in Mexico there's not uh, we're not too popular because we're not speaking in English uh, well we were, we're not speaking Spanish and I har I'm hardly speaking in English uh, I think it's English just fine just have confidence <laughs> yeah something like that don't yeah. worry <laughs> yeah just speak yeah that's right that's what I do yeah. So I get by in Spanish. I yeah, speak. indeed. Yeah, indeed. But well, um, you have to trust your your project, but you have to have the project indeed. Uh, not just going like, hey, I want your sponsorship. You have to make a project, a complete project. Uh, you have to have a purpose. Uh, in this case, yeah, uh, running is a Mexican label. They work mainly in Mexico and also in Spain, in Spain, yeah, uh, South America. So it was like, why should we give this sponsorship if they're not gonna even even look at the at the show or the stream in South America or in Spain even? And it's like, yeah, but we have a good project. We're gonna get uh, cool miniatures, and your label is gonna show. So. Uh, it's about convincement. Is this too blotchy? No, that is good. That is good. That is your first one making the, this this technique. So yeah, that's pretty good. It's gonna be you're gonna have improvements on that. Believe me, but it looks really good. You have a good control, man. So yeah, after thinking about it a little bit, they said, you know what, yeah, we can work on it. We can uh, give you the paint and also some of the support that you will need. So believe me. Oh my God, there's a needle about and I have no idea where it went. Mm, okay, there, there it is. This is the one. Oh, it's sticking uh, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I... Yeah. Take good care of those because they will go right through your skin. Yeah, indeed. 
Okay. Excellent. Yeah, there's a bit about convincement. So just try. Just try, but be prepared. People is going to ask you some questions about why should I support you. Uh, more of them are prepared for these ones. Like, yeah, I know you want me support, but what do you have to offer? Why, why should I support you and not your other uh, competitors? Quick question for you. Okay. I just finished my extreme highlights. What do I do next? Okay, we're going to continue. Like I told you once, we're going to dress up this okay. miniature. Uh, in this case... Is the clothes now? No, not the clothes, before the hair. If it has some fur and you haven't covered, you go for it. If not, you go for the for the clothes and the clothes uh, under the armor. Not, not the armor yet. Just the clothes under the armor. So this fur right here in the, in the human heads? Yeah, that's right. If it goes under the clothes, you're going there. It's kind of like you're dressing it up. I'm going to jump this over here real quick. We're going to get some more lights for both of us soon. I'm going to go jump, go buy that probably today so we can see the details. But this is the detail for this guy. Check it out. See their heads. So this is what I'm going to work on next. Yeah, all right. Okay. All right, so let's see here. Um, should I work on the cloth or you said the fur, right? Yeah, the fur of the cloth. It looks so nice. And it, what would it, you recommend for the fur? Just a dry brush? No, not yet. And then what should I, how should I start? We're going to... Uh, apply the paint just straight use one of the same cone uh, for that one I would recommend this one this is running this brown or you can use this one which uh, I recommend to use that one we're gonna apply a wash over that which brown is this it's Roman that is gold, it no, says? no 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 that is this brown okay yeah that's what I covered the label <laughs> yeah I believe in recycle and recycling the the flasks. Oh, the paint bottles. Okay. Yeah, the pots, and yeah. And I, I don't throw I don't throw them away because it's easier for me to. And sometimes I get those weird colors that don't that don't exist. <laughs> So you want you want to save them? So, so I use the running dry brush, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it's really hard. I do not worry, but you just get shirt. Uh, we're not doing the dry brush right now, but yeah, just toughen it up. And you're gonna apply with the regular brush, just the color. Just a regular brush, this one. Yeah, right? that one. Yeah, that one. That's one of the other things that we were talking about. Maybe I'll jump to this one over here. It's kind of like other tools. So you don't know I, you need one until you really need one. You what am I going for then for this? this? What kind of effect am I going for on this? Or am I trying to go through the crevices? No, right now you're going to cover just covering the whole thing. Yeah, the whole thing. Right now because this so is the, the base layer pretty yeah, much is what I'm right. doing. Yeah, so you're going to cover it all. Make sure you can see. Okay, they can't see neither of us. Okay, yeah, uh, <laughs> sorry. That was because I was onto your miniature. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Okay. I'm going to get this focus for y'all. There you go. Okay. Well, you can see. I made already uh, again the muscles over the wash. And I'm gonna continue with this film. I'm actually here. I'm gonna take this one. I think I'm gonna take this one off the green stuff too. You so can work on that uh, just like this. 
Yeah? Yeah. Don't don't worry, yeah, do not worry, yeah. Just try to get as much as you can over there. And what we're, once we're finished with... So something I used to do, I used to use, a, I used a, a thing like tack, whatever, green tack, whatever, to attach the miniature, but I found it leaves a residue on the miniature and I'm really dissatisfied with that. So one thing that uh, the hill has shown me is I can drill a small little hole into the um, miniature, like where you're just not going to see it because it's going to be connected to another part. And then I can put a paper clip in there and hold it up and glue the paper clip into the miniature and into a cork, much like what he has there, so that, well, you can paint all the way around. Whereas here, you can see some of the parts I won't be able to get to paint today, paint right. Yeah, all right, because as you said, um, if you the other if you do it the other way, you have to be pretty sure that you clean that up. Pretty pretty good. Because there's that residue that residue, residue that residue that you were talking about. But yeah. Helps a lot. And also if the you uh, I recommend if you use the other style that you were using with some well, tack. His regular hair too or just a fur? His regular hair too, yeah. The point of the tail, the end of the tail. Uh, yeah, that will be. Well, I keep saying it's a he, but her, I should say. Yeah, it's a her. Now she's falling off. Pretty much it. So anybody who's watching, I'd love to hear where you all are watching from. And how do you think I'm doing today in the painting class? In the future, what I'd really love to do is I'd love to get tell you guys what pin miniature we're gonna paint and ask you to get the same miniature so we can all paint the miniature together. So it's a real painting class that we can all participate in. Um, I'll be asking that probably on my on my Patreon for my Patreon uh, supporters. If you'd like to uh, paint along with us in the class, let us know what uh, miniature you'd like to paint. You can select a miniature at the Patreon, um, and then I will post it on Twitter and on social media where you can see it, and you can get that miniature if you want to. Most likely, it'll be like a Reaper miniature or a Nolzer miniature, as those are easier to uh, find and get. And we will paint those together. That would be fun, yeah. I think so. A whole international classroom, eh? Yeah, and also, do not worry. As we said before, <laughs> if you have any doubts, uh, I don't know, perhaps you're not uh, painting some minotaurs like we're doing right now. But something with four, I don't know, a uh, ratman, a beastman, something like that, a wolf, a werewolf. Um, it will apply some of the techniques that we're using. So do not worry. Uh, we can teach you or help you through the mainstream with some advices. Don't take it as a lesson because through the stream we can uh, cover some of the details. We can cover some of the of the things that you want to ask about. But do not worry, we can try to get the information. And also, uh, we all are learning here. Uh, if I don't have the information or I don't do the, uh, the things that you want to know, uh, we also have the support of Ronnie. They have great painters over there, historical painters, I mean. So do not worry, we're going to get all the information here and all the stuff here that we need. Uh, some people ask about uh, if we have an airbrush. Yeah, we can do it, we can get it, but uh, out there, not everyone has the access to uh, an airbrush. Like me? <laughs> no, or like me, in this case, we have all the tools, but we're not gonna get all the stuff here. Uh, and also it would be a little bit noisy with the ones that we have. Uh, I, re I really prefer if somebody wants to, to show give us you about an airbrush, the brushes. I would be happy to take on airbrushing, but I would have to have a sponsor for that one. 
because I personally cannot afford an airbrush at this moment. No, we we're, we're trying, trying to get to Gincon, right? Right now, actually. Indeed. But we we wanna get one. Uh, we can show you. We have some specialists on that. Are you planning on getting one? Uh, indeed, I have one, but it's a big a big one. Oh, we can okay. try, uh, and you don't have to get a big airbrush in the beginning. Some people have to get a pache or some uh, other labels, which are awesome tools. But you don't need one for the beginning. We also are gonna show you how to to make the the priming on your on your miniatures uh, with the paint can. Do not worry about it. You just, uh, we're gonna show you how to do that. Uh, the right way so you can continue but you don't have to get uh, all those big tools for the beginning you can see how I can achieve this one and we use the the primer or the brush primer this from Vallejo the surface primer we also have that from Ronin and you can also get from Citadel you're gonna find it like a primer or black primer do not worry about it. You can apply that and start from there. You don't have to get all those all those uh, expensive stuff to paint. You just have to have the right colors, start with your miniatures, and just be practicing and be patient. As just said, do not worry, just paint. So her hair, this is interesting for her hair. Yeah, her, they're right because it's wrapped. Her hair is wrapped in some kind of cloth, but yeah. you can see at the very end, she has some hair here, so I'm going to paint that the brown. Yeah, indeed. As we were talking about. I'm going to continue with this cape, so you can see it. Just painting the raised areas. Yeah, I'm jumping from one miniature to the other one. I got a glock, a glock here, so I am just taking out the paint with the brush. That's another way to do it. I gotta love the neighbors who are playing their music so loud. I hope they cannot hear that. Mm -hmm. A little bit. I, I promise. I promise this is not right time, so do not worry. Uh, I'm gonna turn it down a little bit, so you shouldn't be able to hear it now. But I actually don't think anybody's actually in in the stream right now watching us. But they will watch it later because there is going to be going on YouTube. Okay. It's a VOD. Some mom on in the internet, yeah. Okay. Okay, so you can see now how this shows up. There's more and more light. This is how it began. I'm gonna make the comparison. And this is the side that had the the wash. You can achieve the same effect on this one. But there's a, a big difference because this side is gonna be darker than this one. Because of the wash that we, that we used before, as I said before, just uh, we just darkened this color and we're gonna build up the color on this cape from there is this too much paint or should I get the q-tip to get some of that off no that is okay because that is your base color Right now it is okay. All right, I think I got all the hair. We're gonna check this armor thing here, see if there's any hair underneath. Yeah, just a little bit here. Okay. No, they can't hear the music out there. Okay. Let's take out some of the 
I'm gonna use this black wash and that here. Now you'll notice that I'm painting all these pieces separately because I want to paint them and get them finished before I try to connect them all to one big miniature. Indeed. It's annoying for me because I really just want to put it on the miniature and see it standing up, but I think it would be much easier to paint if they're all separated. Indeed, uh, that's what I were talking about, about this little guy. I have a lot of trouble getting in there in the chest because you have to use the brush to get inside there and try to imagine where all the details are uh, I don't know if you can see it from there but there's a ring a metal ring here right here on under the as uh, uh, holding the cloth it's like kind of kind of his it's buckled so I have to guess where all that is and yeah it will be easier for me to paint it on assemble here you can see it better with the light okay in uh, yeah, yeah, and here, yeah, that right. That right. Thanks. That's all. That right. Uh, it is okay there. Yeah. So you can see here all this stuff, all these details. Indeed, there's a cloth, there's a skull, and there's also a metal ring. So it will be easier for me to paint it on assemble. Unfortunately, in this case, they already came on uh, assembled. I can take it, uh, take that apart. But that would be nice. Yeah, 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 you can say that. Yeah, now it's going to be nice and clear. This is the metal ring. There are also some chains, some chains here, and also a cloth. All right. So yeah, yeah, that would be easier for me to, to paint it uh, on assemble. So yeah. Whew. Well, we are getting close to our time. We have 20 minutes left. Yeah, that's like we have two viewers, so I don't think we're probably probably not going to be able to give a miniature away today unless we get a lot of. Uh, a huge rush of people coming in over their lunch hour to uh, to either become uh, subscribers or to become to watch the show. So we're doing a, um, a subscription or a viewer based giveaway today of one of these miniatures unpainted, and that will be with um, twenty followers or twenty viewers or fifteen new subscribers. And the reason we're doing this is because it's mostly it's going to be able to cover the cost of. Uh, shipping it to you um, because it is going to cost quite a bit to get that shipped but I'm going to be more than happy to get that done um, if I can see you all here and have you guys enjoying the show okay Whew, it's going to okay. be a surprise one I'm sorry it's going to be a surprise uh, oh, which one miniature? I get yeah well, whoever I do, I'm probably going to contact them and let them know which, uh, let them choose because okay. as long as they're the same price of one, one uh, minotaur. Okay, that's nice. But it looks like from right now, because we have about 20 minutes left, like I said, unless we get a rush, it's going to mm -hmm. be really hard to give one of those away because they do cost quite a bit of, uh, of money to be able to give, give away like that. Um, but I would like to see, once if I see a lot more people following and watching, I'll be giving one of those away, and it's going to be amazing. Okay, we have lost your... My camera, my... Okay, my image. Yeah, that's right. As you can see here, I'm applying some of the wash now to this metal go. area. It's such a cool minute right there, too. Yeah, indeed. And I'm, with the wash, it pops out the details. I'm using this black wash. Also, an easy shade from running. So, okay, what should I do next, uh, Hill? Okay, I've done the you first. The first done. Okay. Yep, all the first done. What should I do next? In this case, you are gonna apply this, and uh, uh, once again the wash for the fur. For Only the, the fur. fur. Okay. Only the fur. Yeah. Let's shake this up a little bit. Yeah. Move this thing around, and let's get this fur going. We're gonna get that full darken. No, I actually and don't put it in here. I just do it directly from the thing, don't I? Yeah, you can do it either way. You can do it. Do not worry. Some people like to uh, put it on the palette so they have the control on it. Some people don't like that. That's up to you. So it looks like as long as you're careful. As long as you're careful with the. It looks like it's 
gotten plugged there. Do I have to? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Do I have to pull it out? Just hold it. Thank you. Okay. This is for safety. Yeah. So do not yeah. worry. Some people ask me, why do you have always paint on your nails, on your fingertips? Uh, well, I don't know. Now you know why. I don't tell them, just I'm telling you. Okay, let's do this thing. Because they won't understand it. But now that you see me doing this, you do. Oh yeah, I always get paint on my fingers too. I'm, I'm a messy painter, just like, I'm a messy eater, I'm a messy painter. <laughs> it all comes hand in hand. So I got a big glop here. Do I make sure I, is it fine like that? Or do I need to You can put it on the bottom, don't worry. Yeah, no. So it's not so gloppy. Yeah, and that's right. It has to be clear. Let's get going on this fur. So here we go. I'm gonna uh, do some shader on the fur now. And do I want to get into the cracks, right? That's the that's the goal for this. Yeah, that's right. You cover all the fur, uh, and you can show it in the in the in the can. That right? How it goes to the crevices? How it goes deeper and deeper? I don't know. You perhaps you can do it on the ankle, so you can see it. And of course, you can apply it. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that is it. That's it. Just put here it. Here we go. Yeah, that's right. So here we go. We're gonna yeah. see this. How it goes into the crevices. Yeah how it darkens i'm just gonna touch and it just spreads out yeah i'm gonna do the same thing but i'm gonna use black for this one so we're gonna make this hair and fur so i'm just dabbing it on and it's spreading out like water yeah but you have to cracks. control it yeah how do you oh how do i control it okay in this case you don't just plug it in the way that you're doing it that's perfect you don't take too much you just take enough uh, to get the the brush so wet it's going in there though so is yeah. that, is that i need to spread that out mm, yeah a little bit just a little bit just to control it you start from the middle you start moving it moving that around yeah that right that's right that's perfect i'm just taking also the point i don't let it drop it's not dripping like you can see i just have enough and I just start, uh, starting on the top of it. So when it drops out, uh, it goes down and I can control it. I don't let it go whenever, it, wherever it wants. I make it go wherever I want. If I go, if it goes to other parts, I'm gonna control where it goes. It's kind of funny that I, whenever I play video games, if you watch my video game stream, yeah, you'll see that Let's go ahead and bring this back here so we can see both of our miniatures. Yeah. Whenever I play video game streams, I'm I'm one of those Michael Jordan types that have to stick their tongue out when they're focusing. Okay. And I just noticed I'm doing that right now. And Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm doing it a little bit right now, which means pretty much Um yeah, I do it I'm doing it a little bit right now and I'm just like sticking my tongue out. And and I do it so much when I play video games. My girlfriend told me, like, you know, I was watching your video game and you look so weird because whenever you, <laughs> you're making faces and I, I make faces with my tongue though. I'm just sticking my tongue out like Michael Jordan. Just uh -huh. I remember when I was a kid, I used to get like um, I used to get rashes on my cheek or on my because bottom of your... lip or just on all my lips because I just lick my lips all the time and I'll be playing games all the time. It, it was insane, nutty. But yeah. It means you are you are focusing and focusing on this. I'm definitely focused. That's for sure. Okay. That's it. Okay. Let's check this out. All right. Here we go. This one's trying to flood. I want to make sure it doesn't flood into too many of the crevices. It's supposed to flood a little bit, but not if it's overwhelming the the cracks. Okay. That's all right. She's gonna look so pretty though. I'm so excited about her. Okay, she will be flattered. I guess. Work on this tail. Oh my gosh. 
that person just keeps on putting their music up. So I'm going to put my music down a little bit more and put my volume down a little bit more. Hope you guys can still hear us. And I'm going to figure out where they're coming from so I can complain because they shouldn't be playing their music so loud that we can hear it beating our doors down. I'll be right back. I'm going to see if maybe my girlfriend can help with that. I don't know to worry. No, because yeah. that's the only way to get them to stop because I have complained a couple times is to make sure we find out who it is. Okay, I see. Well, I just just figures out who is the who is the guy who is playing the music so loud. I'm gonna show you how this wash is already going. I just apply the wash on the ankles, on the end of the tail, and that's it. You can see the legs. Is that right? I'm just putting it upside down and yeah also you can see how this cape is going perhaps because of the camera you're not able to see a uh, real good how this looks like I hope Josh is gonna be able to send you some uh, some pictures about it but this half is darker on the crevices and this one which didn't have the wash, just looked a little plain. I'm back. Hey, here's Josh again. Hello, hello. So my girlfriend's doing some duty to find out who those people are so we can tell them them pretty much. Okay. So I'm gonna give them to the guard and say, hey, you need to turn your music down because, oh my gosh, I like the music, but- Oh, the music's great. Just well, if it wasn't so here. loud. Yeah. I shouldn't be able to hear every detail on Milita. You gotta love neighbors, especially ones who don't have any respect for yeah, that's personal hard. space. That's so hard. All right, here we go. Okay, this is so it's supposed to look really, dry. really dark. Like yeah, this. indeed. Do not worry because it is also later we're gonna go lighter, right? Yeah, just like the paint, it's gonna get wet, and also we're just one. We're doing this. Yeah, we're doing this because we want to uh, also you cover the the feet so the we, hooves yeah the hoops yeah so we're gonna uh, get that darker it's gonna help because that's how they look they're a little bit uh, darker than the skin and we're doing this because we're going to to get into the crevices we need the the hair and now after that, we're gonna apply the technique that you were uh, saying about the dry wash. We're gonna do that afterwards. So we get all the details. Uh, we were uh, asked before, uh, uh, some people have problems about the size. Do not worry, there are also techniques for that. Uh, you can achieve a, a pretty good uh, job or paint job uh, having size problems. Do not worry. And what? How? How would you suggest somebody who does have issues with their sight? It depends. To tackle painting. It depends. It depends. Uh, the. I would say start with cheaper miniatures first. <laughs> well, will, that will help because you have to practice. That 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 applies for everyone, because if you have your more expensive miniature, and it has it has tiny little eyes, and they do they do have tiny little eyes, and you want to paint them. Um, perhaps you're Eyes you're not gonna crazy. achieve it. Oh. Yeah, and you're gonna you're gonna get a, a too mad. You're gonna get get into a berserker rage after you see the results because that is your first minute, your first miniature. You don't want to mess up your first miniature, and you don't want <laughs> it to be the the more expensive that you have. Confession so time: I rage quit after my first uh, orc when I made his eyes all lopsided and it looked like he was afraid. I literally rage quit yeah. painting for like a couple of months. I was trying to work with Goblins Mordor. If you guys don't know yeah. Goblins Mordor, you should check him out on Twitter. Um, he does Patreon as well. Um, amazing teacher of uh, painting. Yeah, all right. And yeah, he's the one who's encouraged me to start painting actually. 
And <laughs> I rage quit after my work just because I did it live, for one thing. I did it live and I had to do his eyes over and over and over again and it just drove me crazy. I would get one eye correct, perfect, and the other eye would be like, I couldn't do it no matter how hard I tried. I came up with the idea to start using um, toothpicks to do the eye points. Yeah. Um, that kind of worked sometimes if I could keep my fingers uh, steady, but oftentimes they would shake. Yeah, and also that is about practice, about the uh, what you mentioned, the uh, fingers shaking. That's one of the most common uh, issues that we have. Uh, um, for the side, as we were talking, there are also tools for that kind of issues. You can have, uh, some people just uses one of these camera and they paint looking at the, at the screen, at the computer screen, and, they, and that helps. Other tool that we can use is you can get one of these lamps that have a, a, an augmented lens. How do you call it? Um, uh, you mean a magnifying glass? Yeah, and I'm a magnifying glass, so you can uh, use it, and you just can look at your miniatures through it. Uh, we also have special lenses or glasses that we can just put on, and they help you a lot. But do not worry. <laughs> that number, uh, everyone in a while will get one of those just for the details for everything else you can apply some of the, of the technique that we're going to use indeed we're going to use the dry brush that's perfect for some of the little details so don't worry uh, details pop out when you go on so it's going to be easier easier than you think believe me okay I'm almost done with this skin. This guy is almay, uh, almost already with the wash. You can see now after the wash how uh, the details pop out in front of the camera. Yours come out. So your miniature is coming, done, getting finished so much faster than mine, I swear. Yeah, but then... I'm so tired of painting her. I want her to be finished already. Yeah, <laughs> do not worry. I, uh, I haven't primed the, the weapons. That's why I'm going to do. But indeed, it, it's normal. I have a lot of time painting. So, but you're pretty, pretty good. She's getting closer and closer, but I want her to be finished soon. So this is the female miniature that I'm working on right now. Looks nice to me. Um, but I still, she still has a bit of work to do, I think. She's in pieces, of course, still. But hopefully, soon we'll be having all these pieces coming together and working really nice. Okay. And then I can show it's a finished miniature. Finally, I finished one miniature. And you're oh, gonna no. prepare these ones because of course you want to see this one all built up. How do you want it to be built? Two axes? Um, well, the, um, I got also some extra hands. So he can have two axes, I think is fine. Or he can have two, uh, We'll have to also, you'll need to cure them with knives or whatever. Yeah, I don't know where I have here the tools. So here's some tools. You can actually show them that, but I think we're going to do that next time. Okay. Unless you want to do it really quickly now, because we have six minutes left before the end of our stream today. No, no, no. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it the next time because I'm going to be real prepared. Uh, uh, I can do it real quick, but that is not the matter. Uh, we want you to see how we do it. Uh, we don't want you to see how easy it is. So do not worry, we're gonna look at it. All right, so next before time. the stream ends today, what are we gonna work on next time? Are we, I would, I would like to finish this miniature. Okay. Personally, um, are we gonna try to fit, do you think that'll take the full time or do you think we can also try to start working on basing? If you want to start working on basing, we can do it. You already know what, uh, what kind of base are you gonna use for that? Well, I have specialized bases that are okay. rocks that are already um, pre-made for me, so I don't have to uh, make the base myself. Okay. Um, so that's an advantage, I think. Mm -hmm. um, but and I also had some grass tufts and some other basic materials. Okay. That I'll be able to use for basing. So my goal is to use these and make a custom base for the miniature because for me, I want to be able to display it. So I have two types of basing. One here is a. Uh, I see it's called spring undergrowth. 
and you can see what this looks like here. Mm -hmm. And then I have another one that's just lots and lots of grass. So spring grass and spring under, summer grass and spring undergrowth. So I have these two types of things and I have rocks. I can okay. actually get them, I have rock bases for every one of my miniatures. Okay, we're gonna work on that then. Um, for this one, I already think it go, it's pretty good. It's pretty, pretty good. We're gonna make all the leather. The, the next time we're gonna make all the leather and we're gonna make all the armor. So it's gonna be nice. All right, so I'll go ahead and show you what these guys look like. Okay. These were, are all the bases that we will use for the minotaurs. Are we just gonna be painting minotaurs next time or are we gonna try to expand into some of the other miniatures? No, lines? we're gonna try to finish this one and we're gonna try to finish this one also. So this is what they'll look like. Now, they've already got quite a bit of detail in them. You can see they have some skulls here. So we'll be able to paint some of these next time too, I think. Mm -hmm. And they have, a, I guess, some grasses here, but I think I'm gonna add some of my own grass, perhaps, in this, to this spot because here. Because we wanna make it a little bit. Some more 3D yeah, effects. Yeah, that's right. And then our miniature will stand. That looks amazing, man. Our miniatures, Sorry, miniatures will stand yeah. like this. Right. Yes, we can do, definitely. She yeah, so yeah, quite a bit, but yes. Along the week, we're gonna prepare these ones, so you can see uh, all the process. We're gonna uh, perhaps Josh is gonna show you through pictures for next time, only for the process, only uh, for the for getting this ready before painting. And we're gonna use uh, the rock effect. So you just have to uh, think about what kind of color do you want for the stone. It's gonna be a gray stone, a gray. Which really base should I use, a black or a gray base? Uh, do not worry. Should I do some priming before we start next time? I can do a gray prime or a black prime. Which one do you think I should do? For this one, which color do you want? Is it gonna be a brown stone, a gray stone? It's gonna be a gray stone, I think. Okay. It's gonna be hard rock. It doesn't matter which one you use, do not worry, because we're gonna cover it. Uh, for Because of the camera, I think uh, for them to to check it out, I think it's gonna be black, so they okay. can so they can see how we cover it, uh, how do we get the process. Uh, but for you at home, it's don't worry. So it's I'll be doing these uh, probably tomorrow if I can, or I'm sorry Thursday. Mm -hmm. Today's tomorrow Thursday, yeah. Yeah. So I'll probably be doing these tomorrow when I do my follow up painting stream. Mm -hmm. um, so if you guys want to watch that, I believe it's three to five. And when I'm painting that, I'm just gonna be working on these, probably the bases. And what tips would you give me to work on, continue working on for tomorrow? For tomorrow, you're gonna apply, uh, you're gonna start with the dry brush. And what would the dry, dry, what's the purpose of the dry brush? The, the dry brush is gonna pop out the surfaces. Uh, ah, sorry, sorry, I get in front of you. Uh, okay, when this gets dry, I'm gonna move this so you can check on the miniature. When all this fur gets dry, the dry brush only shows the surface, but you don't want to do it as a layering. We made it as a layering uh, for the muscles because this is a, these are big surface and you can paint it just straight ahead. You don't want to do that uh, hair by hair, uh, believe me. Some of, some of my fellows have tried, you don't want to do that. Okay, there it is. You look at this as so dark, but do, do not worry. That right. You don't want to do hair by hair, so we do the dry brush. We're gonna split the dry brush uh, next time. We're gonna show you with the stone. Uh, you're gonna notice that in the stone mainly. So the dry brush is a quick, uh, a quick uh, technique to use when you have a lot of surface, like hair, like bones, like stone. Some of those rough uh, surfaces you have to use the dry brush. You can also do the, the wash like we did it. But we're gonna, uh, it's I a complementary. Well? Mm, yes, indeed. If you're gonna work on this one uh, before the next, uh, the next lesson, yeah, uh, use the cloths. Uh, if there's more, f more fur, you can work on it. And if you want, only if you want, you can uh, improve on the armor but only the big parts, not the chains, not the rings, only the cloth, the armor, and the fur. 
And I'm wondering what kind of colors should I use for the cloth? Do you guys watching have any ideas what you'd like to see for the cloth? It's mostly, it looks like skins that have been stitched together. Yep. We'll see here, the skins have been stitched together. Some of the clothes that they, of the people that they are already ate. Probably not the so, clothes, yeah. probably their skins. The skins more likely, but I don't know. I think if they eat the people alive. And then they have alive. these little leather tags, yeah. yeah. They have these little leather tags. You're right, maybe it's uh, some animal skins, I'm not sure. But animal skins, uh, part of the clothes that of the people that wore it uh, before they ate them. Or, I don't know. If you eat people alive, I don't know if you take the skin, if you skin them before, or just go for the crunchy parts. She is a, she is definitely a mean son of a gun here. You can see that there's four skulls, four heads. Yeah, indeed. That she's tagged. She has these little tags here, that are used to attach new heads, to show her uh, victories. Mm -hmm. So I'll be working on that next time, and I'm not sure what these are. I think these are actually guts. I don't think so. Perhaps there are some. Well, is it fur? Is kind of it the mementos? fur underneath? Is it the fur underneath coming through? Perhaps, because as we said, it could be some animal. Here, I'm going to go ahead and try to dry brush that in because I want to make sure I get that all. Yeah, that is fur. Oh, okay, well then I better paint that really quick before this. Here goes. I couldn't see sometimes because of the black. Sometimes the details are hard for me. I guess I don't have the best eyes either. Okay, yeah, all right. So you can mark it. And so you know it is there next time you pick up your, your miniature. It depends. For example, you have to think where does it live, uh, what is it, what does it, mm, what does she do for a living? Uh, besides, of course, hunting and killing and eating alive the people, but also where does it come from? Uh, does it look lives in the woods? Uh, does it live ne nearby a little town? Is it a little civilized? Is it not? I don't know. You have to think about it because uh, if it lives nearby a wood or into the woods, uh, perhaps their clothes is more brown and green, something like that. Uh, olive green, for, of course. Uh, if they have the clothes of someone uh, they ate before, perhaps it's gray, perhaps it's brown. It may also be yellow or red. You have to choose. Uh, in this case, for this one, it's gonna be painted as as a clan member for this one of Massive Darkness. So it ha it's gonna have perhaps some tattoos on it. It's gonna have a uh, war paint. Uh, if they're from a, from a clan or a, sp or a specific clan, they may have, uh, I don't know. I, I was thinking about point, uh, putting some clothes on I just made a mistake. I yeah. didn't think about this, but I was being impatient and I still had wet paint and I decided to try to add the wash and it didn't work at all. Oh, so you touched the the brown paint. The brown the paint, yeah, thing. yeah, yeah. And it, it just kind of made it almost like a mush. Okay, that's what we're talking about: being eager and be patient. Yes, uh, it's something that I'm really good at. No, <laughs> but do not worry. The the important thing and the the good thing about it is that you already uh, wear down their painting, so do not worry. You didn't cover all uh, all the detail. So we're just gonna make it from there. All right, it's the last thing I'm gonna do before we go today. Yeah, don't worry. So if you're out there, go ahead and say hello. Um, I'm thinking we're gonna try to do a uh, giveaway next time, perhaps, of the T-shirt you mentioned. Yeah, we can do that. And I think that because would be of the a logo, cool thing. you can you think of a dynamic or a process, and we can we can give away T-shirts. Uh, we're gonna t uh, have the giveaway miniatures. Uh, it depends, whatever you say on on the sponsors, on the, on the patrons. Yeah, well, yeah patrons, I think, I, I, I think for the different. patrons, if we get any. Patrons is a bit different. So what we have is, in, he's a little bit new to Twitch right now. Yeah. Uh, Patreons are a completely different program that they just support the channel yeah. indefinitely. But subscribers on Twitch are supporting watching the Twitch shows. Um, and then there are, of course, followers. 
all of them that come together to make uh, an important part of uh, the stream and and the community. And so that's what we're going to be working on. Uh, we're trying to, of course, we're trying to build all this up so that we have um, a nice community that comes and watches and learns and hopefully paints with us. Hopefully, yeah. So we're going to be finishing up today. This is uh, the end of our show today. We have to get cleaned up. He has to go to work. And I have a, mm. some session zeros to run today. I yeah. hope you enjoyed the session. Um, here we go. We can move this so they can see the finish up. Um, mm -hmm. If you guys have any suggestions or things you'd like to see in the next stream or any questions, go ahead and let me know. Um, you can always join the Discord channel. Yes. You can always join the Discord channel. And let me go ahead and get the link for you to go ahead and go there. Let's see. Invite people. No limit. Never. Okay, there we go. And why don't you go ahead and click Control V. Hold okay. down Control and put V. Uh, let me go to it. Okay. All right. All right, that is the link to our Discord channel. If you would like to jump in our Discord channel, you can be able to see. Um, and the link. Pretty much we're talking about miniatures. We're sharing miniatures all the time on there. Uh, we're talking about minis, crafting. We are planning to paint this big bad boy Holy. in the future. So this will be one of our projects in the future is painting this ship that is a, I think it's, what's it called? Um, the, um, where the did it come from? It comes from Disney's... Um, Pirates of the Caribbean. It's from the Pirates of the Caribbean. I'm pretty sure this is Barba, Barba Nero's ship. It is. It's Barba Nero's ship. So it kind of has Black all these kind of cool things you can do with it. Um, but we're going to be painting this to be more realistic yeah, because for it's upcoming streams kind of awesome. when we go into the water. Um, and it's quite large. And it has a lot of things we can be able to paint in, in it. Uh, details, for example, you'll see here. Inside of here. Yeah, the inner. Oh, yeah. Inside of here has lots of details to be able to uh, paint. Yeah, indeed. I can already see it. How He's it getting some ideas already. But yeah, we're going to be painting all this up so it actually looks really cool. Um, so I hope you guys can follow along and enjoy. Say hello on the, on the chats or come say hello in Discord. Yep. Um, and we are pretty much there all the time. I need to get you on Discord so... You can have oh, your yeah. own room and be able to talk to people as well. I hope you enjoyed today's show. We are going to move on to uh, some other things now. So I'll see you around until next week, or unless you come stop see in you tomorrow. Next week. Yeah. See you next time. Bye bye. Bye. Okay. Almost. I'm going to show them this. There we go, and we're going to go to this, and we are finished.